Hello friends and welcome. Now once you have created the dashboard and configured the dashboard, there should be a way of managing this dashboard. At such instance, my dashboard settings will come into picture. So now what are the options that I see in dashboard setting? Now if you move to the dashboard setting, out there you will be finding these two options. The first one is Q&A and the second one is the tile flow, that is the dashboard tile flow. Now what does this Q&A feature do? It helps the user to find data and to create charts using the natural language that the data set has been using it so far so using by enabling this particular feature it allows the user to navigate along the data set and creating charts along the data sets becomes quite easier also the second setting is the dashboard flow styles right so basically whenever this is turned on whenever you have this tile flow turned on it makes sure that the every tile that you have generated automatically aligns on the left hand side of your screen and not anywhere else now let's go ahead and see what are these different dashboard setting and what are the usage of it in our practical approach Hello friends and welcome. In this part of the video, I am going to show you what are the different dashboard settings that are associated with Power BI service. Alright, so I have to go to the dashboard pane and under the dashboard pane, you can see the sample dashboard which we have created. So I will simply go to these three dots which tells you to open the menu. So I will simply click on it. The moment I click on it, the very last option I see out here is the setting tabs. I will click on the setting tabs. The moment I click on the setting tabs, the two options come into picture the very first one is says Q and A so basically if you click on this uh, particular checkbox it will show you the Q and A search box now if I if you like to see it if I go to this sample dashboard out here you can see there is a search box for Q&A so basically it is allowing the user or your colleague or your your boss or your client to ask question about the dashboard that you have just created and they can review it according and give some feedback upon it as well alright so this is this particular Q&A is therefore in this dashboard so services okay we'll go ahead and see what happens if i remove it so there's an option where i can remove it or whether i can keep it right so let's uh, keep it as of now because i would definitely would be open to suggestions and i would be definitely open to improvements all right so we will always keep this thing on so that we come to know that the client or the user who is using this dashboard or who is viewing this dashboard should understand what is going around and if he does not understand he can ask a question right away all right the next thing it is uh, asking you is the dashboard tile flow now it, if you have seen that uh, when we have created the dashboard the movement of this dashboard tile is little difficult so if you turn on the tile flow the movement of that tile flow becomes much more easier now what it is showing you by turning on the flow of this dashboard once you move the dashboard it will automatically adjust your tile layout that's what it is saying now let's see uh, click on apply and see what happens so the moment I have done this if I want to move this dashboard it automatically acquires the left space if you see if I move it here it automatically acquires the space if I move this down somewhere here okay it cannot move that so I will simply click it has to be here if I move this here yes it can be done so what it is taking and if I want to resize it as well I can also resize it if you see there's a place where I can resize this but as of now it is not allowing me to resize it so whenever I select that particular dashboard it automatically acquires the left size of the dashboard by not keeping it empty so this is what the dashboard tile flow talks about alright so this was the different settings that we see under the dashboard hopefully you guys like this video see you until next time